unboxing of a Beofang UV5R and we'll see how this goes. Ordered through Amazon, you can't beat the price. $62 with free shipping. I had about $10 in discounts on Amazon, so 50 bucks or so for a dual band rig with some extra little interesting things was too hard to pass up. Of course, with the free shipping, sometimes it takes a while, and this took about a week or so uh, to get to Maryland. And nice and secure in here. And there we go. And there's the box. Nothing new here. There are other videos on YouTube that go over all this. It's got some interesting little features. The flashlight thing was unusual to me until I saw some other reviews. It's got the FM radio in it and uh, a few other interesting little things. So, I don't know if I can open this with one hand or not. I'm going to open this carefully. And there's the abbreviated manual, as per some of the other other openings. It's actually a little thicker than I thought. I envisioned it being just a page or two, but it does look like there are some details in here, although I'm sure the online tutorials are a whole lot more useful. That's a small radio with a big flashlight. There's that clip and the big battery and a little antenna. And as mentioned on some of the other reviews, the SMA connections would require an adapter to use BNC stuff. And I guess a female to female adapter. I don't know yet. We'll see. And the charger. That's cool that it comes with a little lapel speaker mic. Speaker for the ears and the mic that clips to to your chest. And there's the push to talk button. That's interesting. Again, I'm glad they came with that. The lanyard and the wall supply. The wall work. Charging red, completed green. 10 volts output. Wonder how many thousands of these are cranked out every day. And that's the little radio. Once I get some time to play with it and see if there are any little quirks that haven't been explained on other tutorials, then I'll certainly put those up. First impressions, immediate impressions. It's built really well. It's got a nice, solid feel. I just put the clip on. This has been out of the box for a minute and a half, two minutes. Um, it feels pretty tight. The battery has a full charge on it. Straight from the factory, which is cool. And right now I know absolutely zero how to really work with this. It's just come out of the package. Speaker mic connections are on the side. It's 
kind of a, a rubber rubber cap. Monitor, push to talk, call. And the next step will be to play with it. But it's got a nice little feel to it. It's a lot tighter than I thought it would be. Just looking online. Okay, and this just slides in. There are little grooves on each side that fit with those little slots. And it just drops in. As, as shown before, this is just the little push to talk button for the mic, for the ear. I guess there's the, the actual microphone, those little holes on the end. That pivots around for comfort. And it looks like this would just be a standard speaker mic jack. Uh, online there are speaker mics 9, 12, 14 bucks all over eBay. It's a cute little radio. Very good. Again, once I play with this some more, then I'll get some other videos up on the actual programming of it. But that's a first look. Thanks for watching.